ram, and advanced automated point defense Gatling gun. Indirect fire from mortars, missiles, and artillery shells is a very serious concern for armed forces in battle. But thanks to point defense systems like the Sea Ram, indirect fire of this nature may have met its match. What is Sea Ram? Sea Ram, standing for Counter Rocket Artillery and Mortar, is an indirect fire protection capability (IFPC) weapon system developed in order to protect ground forces and forward operating bases from the threat of rockets, artillery, and mortars. Sea Ram is not simply a single gun. Rather, it is made up of a variety of different systems which provide command and control capability, along with the ability to sense incoming rounds, warn, respond, and intercept. Sea Ram components include the Forward Area Air Defense Command and Control FAADC2, land-based phalanx weapon systems LPGLS, lightweight counter mortar radars LCMR, firefinder radars K-band multifunction radio frequency systems MFRFS, air and missile defense workstation AMDWS, and several other components. A main component of the CRAM system is the LPWS. This has been modified from the U.S. Navy MK-15 Maori 29 Block IB Baseline 2 Closing Weapon System. Another component, the M61, a 120mm Gatling gun. It's capable of acquiring its target and firing at a rate of 4,500 rounds per minute. The Forward Area Air Defense Command and Control FAADC2 system integrates the sensors, weapons, and warning systems to intercept incoming rocket and artillery. One major difference between the land and sea base systems is the choice of ammunition. The naval phalanx systems fire tungsten armor piercing rounds, while the C RAM uses 20 mm HEITSD, high explosive incendiary tracer, self destructing ammunition. These rounds explode on impact or on tracer burnout, reducing the risk of collateral damage if rounds fail to hit their target. The Sea Ram's naval equivalent, the Phalanx Close in Weapon System, CIWS, was first developed as an automated weapons defense system in 1973 and incorporated a 20mm M61 Vulcan Gatling gun autocannon used since 1959. The Navy Phalanx system was first appraised as a possible ground based variant in 2004. Phalanx was selected partly because it could be readily interfaced with a multitude of sensors and systems designed to provide an overarching protection umbrella of sights on the ground. In its land-based configuration, the LPWS system is mounted on a wheeled platform in order to provide enhanced stability on site and mobility for repositioning and deployment. The Centurion C Ram can, for example, be mounted on a trailer or the rear side of the Oshkosh truck. In October 2008, Raytheon and Oshkosh unveiled the Mobile Centurion, which mounts the system on a hybrid electric HEMTT A3 heavy truck. The first battle-ready C-RAM system was deployed to Iraq in 2010 in order to protect the Green Zone, an area in Baghdad used as an Amerian embassy. Trials of this system showed that it was capable of knocking out 70 to 80 percent of rockets and mortar shells fired within its area of control. In fact, the system was used to defend the embassy just before Christmas in 2020. As of 2013, the Army Acquisition Executive AAE, designated Sea Ram Intercept an Army Acquisition Program an authorized fielding of LPWS guns and support equipment to the IFPC slash Avenger battalions. Fielding is ongoing. The Sea Ram system has successfully intercepted hundreds of rockets and mortar shells fired at the Green Zone, thereby proving the system's capability as a defensive system. How does the Sea Ram weapon system work? Like its naval counterpart, the Sea Ram utilizes advanced search and track Ku band radar systems that feature closed loop spotting technology to automatically acquire and track targets and engage them. Ku band, in case you are not aware, is a portion of the electromagnetic spectrum 
in the microwave range of frequencies between 12 and 18 GHz GACs. Similar systems were installed on the Space Shuttle to help identify and track other spacecraft. The system can also be integrated with an array of other sensors and systems to help provide an overarching protective umbrella to protect a given location on the ground. The weapon's primary armament is the 20mm Vulcan Gatling gun. It consists of six optimized barrels augmented with forward-looking infrared FLIR sensors. The barrels are secured together at the muzzle, mid-barrel, and breech to provide enhanced accuracy and enable fire to constrain shot dispersion patterns. But all that firepower is also half the story. If you can't track and accurately put the cannon rounds in the right place at the right time, you basically have a fancy piece of pyrotechnics. This is achieved through a combination of advanced sensors that enables the CRAM to simultaneously search, track, engage incoming targets and prioritize targets and make kill assessments in both daytime and nighttime. CRAM's Q-band radar system enables the weapon system to detect potential threats early in their flight and then pass on their trajectory and vector data to the system's tracking algorithms only when it judges them to be a real and present danger. Target tracking and engagement is further enhanced by a sophisticated thermal imaging system to help improve targeting. This system operates in the 8 to 12 micron wavelength range and is mounted on a stabilizing pedestal attached to the weapon's main antenna radar. It provides very reliable night and day passive search and tracking, while also improving the overall anti-air warfare performance of the system in multipath environments. Other tracking systems integrated into the Centurion CRAM system include Northrop Grumman's an tpq 36 short-range firefinder radar and the lightweight counter-mortar radar to detect and track fired rounds. This hardware is controlled by fire control subsystems like Northrop Grumman Mission Systems, Forward Area Air Defense Command, and Control, FAADC2, system, which ties together the sensors and weapons of the Army's short-range air defense battalions. How much does CRAM cost? As you might expect, such a sophisticated piece of kit does not come cheap. Each CRAM system costs somewhere in the region of $10 to $15 million, depending on the final spec of the units purchased. But that is only the cost to initially acquire the technology. With such a massive rate of fire, this unit literally burns through bullets. Depending on the number of munitions spent, a typical engagement with a single missile could range from between $30,000 and $60,000. Some other estimates put the figure at around $40,000 per missile. This is not only costly from a material point of view, but is also one of the main disadvantages of the system. By spending so much ammo on a single threat, a limited ammunition supply will theoretically limit the number of threats that the unit can engage at a given time. By some estimates, this might mean that the Centurion C RAM might have a maximum anti-RAM cap of about five incoming rounds before needing to be reloaded. This system has some other perceived weaknesses too. For example, it takes around five seconds to acquire, lock onto, and engage a threat. It also has a fairly short effective range of between 109 to 1093 yards, 100 and 1000 meters. These weaknesses aside, it has shown itself to be one of the most effective anti-missile mortar and artillery defense systems in the world. For this reason, it will likely remain an important player for many armed forces around the world for many years to come.